Devastated locals in Sydney's inner west are banding together to raise funds and collect items for the survivors of Tuesday's horrific boarding house fire. Two residents remain in hospital, with detectives spending another day at the scene trying to work out why a former resident allegedly set the property alight. Ronnie Serich and Laurie Everson are survivors. They were two of 11 men inside this Newtown boarding house when it was set alight on Tuesday morning. Ron is recovering from spinal surgery. He also has broken ankles and third degree burns after jumping from a window. Laurie took in a lot of smoke. Three of their neighbours were killed. I lived in Newtown for 57 years. This is one of the worst things I've probably seen in my lifetime. Inner West residents are now coming together to help the survivors start again. The community as a whole, I think um, Newtown's pretty close knit. So I think everyone has sort of felt that um, and everyone wants to get behind and do something. Local mum Lauren Cleveland is collecting donations. Guitars for Laurie, who's on the mend. He's a bit of a rocker, uh, death metal t-shirts, things like that. Just wanting him to feel comfortable. The accused arsonist and killer Richard Hodderin remains locked up as investigators continue to examine the scene. Three days on, the motive for this mass killing is still unclear. Detectives are now focusing on Hodderin's relationship relationships with his former neighbours and landlord. A landlord who police finally spoke to two days after the blaze. Several items seized from Albert Wong's home. The state of some of his other boarding houses under fire. All the interactions I've had with him, he seemed to be pretty reasonable. On Sunday, the pub across from the boarding house will host another fundraiser for their friends who've lost everything.